Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. We are starting with the new unit that is ecology. In this unit, we will be talking about four chapters and today we will start with the first chapter that is organism and population. But before that, when we talk of ecology, what exactly we mean? Ecology is a branch of biology which deals with interaction or relationship between living organisms and their surrounding. So in this unit all the chapters are related to these organisms and how they react or interact with the non-living part as well as the living part. That means how they interact with the abiotic uh, conditions or factors and the biotic factors also. And the first chapter is organism and population. To understand what exactly we will be talking about in this chapter, we need to understand the levels of organization. In certain chapters, like the chapters of cell, the chapters where we talk about tissues, the chapters where we talk about the organ systems, we are talking about the lower levels of organization. And after organism is formed, then we start talking about the higher level of organization. So if we have to just summarize the different levels, we can start with these micro or macro molecules. So these macro molecules, they aggregate or aggregated to form the cell like structures. Cells were formed, cells aggregated to form the tissues. Tissues aggregated to form the organs, organs aggregated to form organ systems and all these systems together are responsible for formation of the organism. Now, our chapter says organism and population that means we are starting from here. So everything which is below organism is called the lower level of organization and beyond organism that means if we go from here we will be talking about the higher levels of organization. Now organism of a particular species they would make the population, populations together would form the communities. These communities with the abiotic uh, factors would form the ecosystems and larger ecosystems will form the biomes and all these biomes together will form the biosphere. So when we are talking about higher level of organization, we will go from organism upwards. So in this unit, we will be mainly focusing on the higher level of organization. And in the first chapter that is organism and population, we will be focusing on these two levels of organization. Now, first thing is when we are talking of organism, we have understood which level are we at. When we talk of population, again we know we are one step higher. And in this unit, we said that we will be talking about the interaction between the living organisms with the biotic as well as the abiotic factors. So what are those abiotic factors with which the interaction has to be studied? The first is temperature. We will be talking about all these factors in detail. Then water, light 
and soil. These are the four main abiotic factors and we'll see how living organisms interact or react with these abiotic condition, how they adjust to various abiotic conditions. Then biotic factors, in biotic factors it is interaction amongst the living organisms and these interactions could be predation, parasitism or it could be like a pathogen, a disease causing organism or it could be competition. So when we talk about predation, it is between the living organisms, they can be of different species. Parasitism again of different species, pathogenic again different species and these pathogens can be endo or exoparas uh, ectoparasites. So here we will be talking about those also and competitions. Competition can also be between the members of the same species or between two different species also. And there are various factors for which this competition is going to take place. So we have understood the basic thing what we will be talking about in this first chapter of the unit and the chapter is organism and population. Now in the next part what we will do is we will take up all these individual abiotic factors and we will discuss those factors in detail.